Uh, the Pertemps Network, Fox Hunter Chases, next end, this is a three and a quarter mile nought to hundred handicap. Top one, Dan Sally Orange, Stu Gray, Tamara Lowe, Angel Alex Cherry, Larwood, Miss Doug Warren, Stretford, James Follis, Turn Starboard, Daniel French, Lauren Royal Obi Wan, Cakewalk, David Robertson, Balan, Vanilla, Carla Regante, The Maze, Martin Needham, Baharty King, Darren Hauser, and Watcher, Jamie Hopkins. So 11 runners then. For this Fox Hunters Chase, and away they go. Short run to the first, and they all pop over that one nicely. And they've got 16 more to take as Cakewalk comes up on the inside of Dan Silly Orange to take the lead. They race down towards the second of the fences, and Cakewalk will lead them over that one from Dan Silly Orange second. Stretford is in third, then Larwood Miss four. Turn Starboard on the other side of that one is fifth, then Laura Roy on the maze. And we're going to go play Jockey Camp. On the back of Baharty King, and I'm sure the race runner may have picked up on the fact that poor old Darren Howell seems to have a lot of fallers when I'm commentating. And they do so want to be on a jockey cam when I was falls, don't they? Um, well, of course you're right. Oh, we've lost one there. That's Cakewalk's gone. I'm sure Darren Howell doesn't want that to happen. And I've got a funny feeling he might just put the commentator off slightly because I would guess the string goes all upside down, back to front and inside out. Anyway, cakewalk season is over. That one's out of the race as we run past the stands. And we're now switching to Watcher. As we go past the winning post. You see Tamarillo Angel to the right. And Baharty King to the left. Just in front is Loyal Royal. Royal. And the grey on the far side there is Milan Vanilla with in front of that one turn starboard the blue is stretford the orange is the maze they jumped over that one you can see the normal angle is resumed and the loose horse is well clear so looking all that keen to put any pace into the race then it would seem and dan silly orange is about a head in front of stretford then larwood miss on the outside is third the gray baharty king is fourth the maze is just behind that one as they take the next and they're all safely over that one Turn starboard just the back marker as they take that ditch. Turn starboard jumped it a little bit slowly, but he's still well in touch with the rest of the field, and there's still a long way to go. Well over two miles still in a race, and down Silly Orange has a half length lead on the inside of Stretford in the blue. Then comes Baharty King the grey on the rail with Larwood Miss on the outside between the two, the maize and the all orange, then the yellow of Loyal Royal. Watcher's got up on the inside another one in mainly orange colours with Tamarillo Angel behind that one. The second of the greys on the outside is Milan Vanilla and Turn Starboard is just at the back on the inside. So take fence number seven. And they're all over that one okay as well. You can just see the back legs and the tail of the loose horse. There he is, Cape Walk. Unscathed from that fall earlier. As they take that one, there's another one gone there. Tamarillo Angel's gone. So Tamarillo Angel is a faller. I think he made a bit of a mistake a fence or so ago. He's paid the price this time. And that's the second horse to depart the race as they take number nine. And Dan Silly Orange is the leader. From Baharty King second, Larwood Miss third, Stretford on the inside is four. Then the maze is five and Watcher is six. Lauren Royal just being pushed along a little bit there. He's on the outside and then turn starboard and Milan Vanilla. But the loose horses are bookend in the field at this stage. With a mile and a half to go, they skip over number ten. And you can see Tamarillo Angel also running around for fun at the back. They're up this home straight. And they'll have one more circuit to go. Dan Silly Orange is the leader from Baharty King. And we see the somewhat underdressed crowd. A few of that bloke's back as we see them racing away. With Dan Silly Orange in front. Baharty King is second. Then Larwood missed the maze and Streffer turn. Starboard has been pulled up coming out of the home straight there. So that one must have had enough for the season as they take the 11th and Dan Silly Orange. Looks like he might have had enough as well because he ran straight through that one. Has left Baharty King in the lead. Didn't appear, doesn't appear to want to be in the lead though. So Dan Silly Orange has been able to get back into the lead quite easily. 
Stripford is in second. This is almost an after you, Claude Rose. This one, nobody wants to be in the lead. And Dan Silly Orange may be there on sufferance. I don't know, but jump that one. Okay, we lost another one at the back. Milan Vanilla's gone. So that's four out now. And Dan Silly Orange is the leader as they take this ditch. Good jump by Stretford. The maze is creeping into it quietly on the outside. Then Larwood miss. And Baharty King, Lord Royal on the rail. Watcher is the back marker. But no more than six lengths off the lead and not out of it at all. As they begin to swing left handed. And they've still got a fair old way to go. And the maze has poked her head in front on the outside of Dan Silly Orange in second. Loyal Royal is third and Stretford is four. Lowell misses five, Baharty King is six and Watcher is seven. And that's all you've got left in the race. As they come down to the 14th. This is the fourth from home. And the maze jumped that nicely in the lead. Good jump by the horse in second, Loyal Royal. So going well on the outside now is Baharty King. And that one's coming to challenge for the lead. Dan Silly Orange has just hit a bit of a flat spot. Watcher's running on around the outside. But the maze is the leader. Over the third last. Good jump by the leading two. And they're a good three lengths clear now of the third place Loyal Royal. But it's the maze in front from Baharty King in second. Loyal Royal is third. Watcher is making steady progress on the outside. The others look beaten as they take the second last. The maze jumped that better. Baharty King was slow. Watcher throwing down a big challenge on the outside. Then Loyal Royal. They begin to swing towards home now then. There's still a good two furlongs to race, but there's only one more fence to take, and the maze is in the lead by about four lengths. Two in second place. Watcher Baharty King now looks beaten. The rest are running on one pace. Over the final fence they go. The maze is in front. Now being chased by Watcher. The maze is in the lead, but well, the Watcher is catching ground here. He's making ground all the time. The maze is still in front. Watcher's trying to wear her down. The maze is still in the lead. Watcher's coming on the outside as they race into the final half furlong. The maze is in the lead. What's Watcher got left? Watcher's beginning to close but the maze is still hanging on the inside and up towards the line the maze takes in watches second more and more is third Barty King four down silly orange five and strip for the low would miss and they were the only ones to finish and the maze just about held on watcher was staying on a little one pace he was getting closer with every stride but he needed probably another quarter of a furlong probably and he probably would have got up to win that one so and those two were well clear of the third. And the third was like two to one on favourite, the third place horse. So the, the maze takes it then for Martin Lee. And Watcher is second for Jamie Hopkins. Loyal Royal for Obi Wan was third. Baharty King for Darren House fourth. And Dan Silly Orange was fifth for Stu Gray.